everyone and welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Psychic Tarot. My name is Nia and in today's video you will be receiving a happy, fun, uplifting message from your deceased loved ones. As you can see you have these three groups to choose from today. For group number one we have the tarot at the end of the rainbow and a seven chakra heart crystal. For group number two the tarot in wonderland and this oval shaped seven chakra crystal. And for group Group number three, we have the Tarot of the Owls and a lovely seven chakra star crystal. So all you need to do now is to focus on the loved one that you would like to connect with today. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, pause the video if you have to. And when you think you're ready, just see which one of these three groups calls your attention the most. And then have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for them. So I will see you there. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number one, the tarot at the end of the rainbow and this lovely rainbow heart crystal. So you will be receiving a fun and happy and uplifting message from your deceased loved ones. There is too much pain, there is too much sadness in this world, too many low vibrational entities. So we want to change that in today's reading. Hopefully your loved ones are going to stick with that plan. And please, you guys, if you're feeling sad or just angry or low vibrational, shut that out for a minute. Just open up your heart to receiving uplifting energies, then it will really work. Okay, so just allow it in. Happiness is available and it will find you today. Rainbows, you know, Rainbows make me very happy. They make everyone very happy and hopeful. And I'm feeling very loving vibes coming through from the other side. Um, keep in mind, this is a collective reading. So if you feel that I say something that isn't for you, it won't be. Just feel peaceful about it. It will be for someone else. Only take what feels right for you. And I'm kind of feeling again that um, loved ones from myself are coming through as well. So we are in the same boat if this will resonate with you. Because I saw the letter A, big fat letter A. So someone else here uh, might uh, have a name that starts with an A or maybe your loved one's name start with an A. And our loved ones here, they are need the other side and they're like cheerleaders and they just want to not only make us laugh but they want to lift our mood and boost our self-esteem so I feel like them cheering you on from the other side give me an A, A, give me an N, N and then whatever your name is but I see them like cheerleaders with your initials on their um, uniform so they want to motivate you and tell you how hey, you got this. I'm so proud of you. You should be celebrating how amazing you are. <laughs> I love that. So their message is I'm proud of you. You are such a trooper. You are amazing. And I'm cheering you on. I'm cheering you on. Uh, maybe they want to be court jesters as well, if you know what that is in the medieval ages. You know, the royals had people to make them laugh. So they're kind of like a um, cheerleader court jester for us. But they love us so much. So they want to say to us, we love you, our spirits here on the other side. So hearts and rainbows will be signs um, for you from them. I'm loving the vibe, you guys. If you're feeling low, please like let go of that low vibration and just detach yourselves from that for a moment and just open up your hearts and visualize your loved ones dressed up as cheerleaders cheering you on, like making a dance and a song just for you with your name written on their, I don't know, poster, um, uniform, whatever. Okay, now... Let's see what the loved ones have to say using the tarot cards. I love um, this symbol. This is a symbol of um, life, of birth and rebirth, you know. So, and this looks like, you know, like a little court jester doing a little wheel spinning around. You might have loved ones on the other side who were into gymnastics or aerobics or who are really sportive or just love to dance. Um, but again, I'm not channeling a specific group. Anyone can come through, but I'm feeling quite, you know, rhythmic, um, upbeat people here. So what 
happy messages do you have loved ones these loved ones here they're really sticking uh, with the theme which i love so loved ones say something really happy please uplifting what do you want to say loved ones what is that that is the um knight of pentacles and it's a little dwarf riding a badger <laughs> i love that uh, for someone here mushrooms might be a sign um from your loved ones or your spirit team or your fairy team um but they are saying i'm hearing a word hang on i don't know what that means but they're saying you are the captain you are the captain the captain of the ship i'm hearing that they want to use that metaphor for some loved ones but for everyone else it's saying you got this you are in charge and you are doing so well you have come such a long way and that's why i'm cheering you on you have come so far i'm so proud of you and today we don't want to look back on the darkness and um dwell on why uh, you are such a strong person we're just celebrating how strong you are and how tenacious and how much perseverance you have shown and this little dwarf has a rainbow um belt but it looks like a tie like a suit tie you know um so there could be i'm hearing a fiance coming through from the other side amongst everyone here cheering us on a fiance coming through um hang on yeah guys um you can't see this on the card but i saw it and you know with my third eye um do you have so either you love the song jingle bells um if you found this reading in real time you will probably hear it a lot or do you have little bells like tiny little jingly bells either hanging um like a wind charm or do you have that on your doorbell or do you have a pet that carries a little bell if you hear a, or think about does think about mean something to you anyway the sound of a tiny dainty little bell ringing if you hear that that will be a sign from your loved one there's something very specific about little bells little bells jingle bells they're just singing jingle bells jingle all the way oh my god um that might be a message for me and possibly many other people watching but on Christmas we play very upbeat music uh, me on the violin my brothers accompanying me and um, that's one of the songs we play so they want you to play happy music and dance to it and know that if you do play or make happy music or sing happy music or dance to happy music they will be with you they will be with you and I'm just confirming that. So again, here they are saying, I love you so incredibly much. We have, I love that, this beautiful rainbow angel on the other side and a couple here. So you can be asking about a loved, like romantic partner or family, it doesn't matter. L true love is absolutely unconditional. Um, if you were romantically involved with your person, they are saying, I bless you and the new person you have found or will find. I want you to find new love. True love is unconditional. So we don't own each other. I just want your happiness. For the rest of us who are not asking about significant others, our cheerleader angels, they're just also love angels and they are blessing us and everyone else we love and they just want us to have a really good time with the people we care about and um, they want us to know that we have their blessing. So with whatever positive endeavor um, you know we are on or dealing with we have our loved ones blessings and it can be small things you know like a little family concert for christmas we have our loved ones blessings they'll be watching and applauding and cheering us on i love how happy that is what else loved ones i'm hearing a song by the beatles here comes the sun i heard it yesterday 
in a version. I'm just remembering that now, but many of you will have heard that song recently or will in the future. If you hear that song, it's a sign from your loved ones because they're telling you, yes, there is darkness sometimes, but the sun always rises and here comes the sun. The sun is coming. Just open up your hearts to that bright energy. Two of Pentacles. G guys, that is a court jester to me. <laughs> This elf looks like a court jester, like uh, juggling. Um, and they are saying they're coming through in this uplifting reading today to balance out your energy um, scale, so to say. You might have been feeling really low or you are way too serious in your life because maybe you have to be a very responsible person, have a very serious kind of job or um, it's because of the pain you're dealing with. I'm hearing illness and stuff, but your loved ones are saying... It doesn't matter how much darkness you're in. There is always some time for a little fun. And they're coming through as our little court jesters, just giving us some fun and never feel guilty about, you know, doing something fun or silly while someone else is in pain or while you're in pain. Guys, we need to survive. And in order to survive, we need to just have some playtime as well. And even if it's just a few minutes a day, it does work wonders. So our loved ones are saying... Do not be so serious. Just laugh more and dance more and move more. What else? Yeah, move more. L move more. And here we have three people dancing in a wonderful flower field, raising glasses. And there is the end of the rainbow, you guys. They're saying move more. So, And I was hearing kind of like workout music. So it doesn't matter if you can't do a full-blown workout because you're either too old or you're too sick or whatever. Like just put on a tiny bit of music and move to it or go for a walk or do the dishes while you do that or just um hoover your your place it doesn't matter just move and listen to music and that will heal your soul and also spend time with people you love and do that together you know community um but yeah you can have a dance party on your own you know but if you do have people around you just get them moving get them dancing they are saying when you feel low don't give in to that put on some music and get moving and get out get out as well like spend some time outside yeah that is the king of sorts in the reverse and that is a tree to me that is a, like a um, tree god here and we have the rainbow again and he is meditating kind of he looks like um, the yogis look who do um, in kundalini yoga there's an exercise where you kind of have your eyes half closed and you roll them up to towards uh, your third eye chakra anyway um this came out in the reverse and the loved ones are saying again please do not be so serious and especially do not spend too much time or do do not allow for other people to affect you people who are <sighs> you know just too bloody serious who are have a very kind of dry personality who tell you um that you should act and behave a certain way as an adult so you could have an influence in your life maybe a partner or a father figure or a boss or maybe just society who tell you that you should grow up that you're not allowed to i don't know wear makeup because you look like a clown so what then look like a clown clowns are happy or that you're not allowed to wear certain clothes or jewelry or that you're not allowed to decorate your place a certain way just screw that screw that do not listen do what what makes your heart happy make your inner child happy okay don't listen and pay attention to grumpy old men if you have them in your life or to just to serious harsh condescending people nasty cut them out be in this energy okay um Let's continue with some oracle cards. And you guys, if you love this energy, give me some love. Drop me some rainbows in the comments. I would love that. I'd love to see some rainbows. Write the word rainbow. It doesn't matter. Give me thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and if you want to stay. 
and turn on the little bell so that you will never miss out on any content here. We are such a good community here. This could be us, the Purple Heart family just dancing. I, I really wish I could do a meetup with you guys. Uh, I wish that was possible. Now loved ones, drop some fun messages, please loved ones. Look beyond the surface, yes. You know, you might have been um, really um, overshadowed by this grumpy energy in your life, or this harsh and negative energy in your life. You might have drowned a little bit in, um, yeah, this seriousness or in your pain. And it's time for you to come out of your shell, to come out of the dark waters and to look above and beyond the surface and to just get going, you guys. Um, you are a king or a queen, so they are cheering us on. You are not someone who needs to listen to anyone who pretends to be the ruler. You are the ruler of your own life. They want to empower us here. And um, there's a specific message. You might have to kiss a frog soon, but they will actually be your king. Okay. That's a very specific message. Like, don't judge, judge anyone by their cover, you know. Someone might look like a nasty toad, but they could turn out to be an amazing prince or princess. Cow, no, court. What? Court? The two good and true. Okay, so we had trouble reading that. Um, but court reminds me of court jester. So, um... That is something about the court jester theme. So they want to make us love the loved ones for sure. And also look, the giraffe has a very, very long neck and you need that to look beyond the surface. So extend your vision. Um, if you're struggling with happiness, expand your horizon, extend your vision. Like don't look what, at what's right in front of you. Look beyond and kind of escape into your own magical um, place of fun and upliftedness, even if it's just for a short time. And it will help you balance out your emotions if you have been feeling very kind of on edge or not in control of your emotions. There is the seahorse again. I've seen him before uh, using this deck recently. Float like you mean it. Dance like you mean it. So just let the energies flow, you guys. Um, don't let anyone block your energy flow there's a huge warning that you have grumpy influences in your life blocking your energy flow and that will re result in mental emotional and physical health issues so just move guys move energetically and physically move and be proud of it and do it intentionally it will help you mm, i'm gonna draw from this Oh, he's so cute. Protect your boundaries. Look, I, I'm, I'm getting the sense that there is a person. They could be male. If they are female, they just act like, you know, like a toxic man. <laughs> you have this very overpowering, harsh, condescending, nasty, negative uh, energy in your life. For some of you, it might not be that extreme. And for some of you, it's not one single person. It's maybe several people or a community or society, you know, politicians and stuff. Don't listen, like you have to create some energy boundaries to not let these people take over and ruin your life. Cut them out and um, connect with your spirit court jester here. And also these cute little birds, they might be a sign for you. Um, this looks like a European blue tit a bit, but it's also red. So maybe you have a bird like that where you live, let me know. But um, that's a serious warning here from your loved ones to protect your boundaries and to make sure that in your safe space, you get to be happy and uplifting. Some final words, loved ones. 
I'm your guardian angel. Look how that landed on my finger. And I absolutely love that because I have just um, made a short with messages from your angel. Um, this short will already be out by the time you're watching this, I think. So um, if you missed it, um, I try to remember and link the short in my description box. If not, just go on my channel and click on shorts and look for the angel message there. Know that this will be a message from uh, your person here that I uh, recorded there. Okay, they spoke through that. They are your guardian angel and they want you to be happy, guys. They want you to feel uplifted. And I'm waiting for you. So now they'll be waiting for you on the other side. There is no pressure for you to join them. You are still here for a reason. But while they're watching over you, make sure you have a good time too. So that they can laugh with you. Because you never walk alone. Death is not the end, yeah, duh. If you're my channel, you will know this. So don't cry so much um, grieving them. Just look forward to your reunion because it absolutely will happen. Death is not the end. Take that as your motivation. Celebrate your infinite, infinite? Yeah, your eternal connection. And um, yeah, just know that you are so loved, guys. That's all from me for now. Really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if that's the case and take super good care and to soon, hopefully, okay? Bye. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number two, the tarot in Wonderland and this oval-shaped um, seven chakra crystal. So you will be receiving a happy and fun and uplifting messages from your loved ones today. It's a collective reading, so only take what feels right for you, okay? And also, guys, please energetically allow for high vibrational energies to find you if you do that if you open up your heart and say yes i want some happiness then it will be much easier for me to convey these messages and for your loved ones to um you know also convey them to you let allow the happiness in and i'm getting psychic downloads you know that and right before i started to um talk to you here for this pile I heard the word mystery and um yeah I just need to say it I think I heard mystery moo this will only resonate with one or two people here but mystery mysterious was your loved one the kind of person who would kind of be very purposefully cryptic about stuff and be all mysterious but in a like a funny way was that a thing between you when your loved ones did something sneaky? Did they sneak up on you and scare you, by the way? I still do that. We're adults, but I still do that with my brother. <laughs> I sneak up on him and scare him. It sometimes works, but he never admits that it startled him. So your loved ones and you, you could have done that. I'm kind of picking up on um, children kind of playing like my brother and I, like as siblings not teasing each other but like doing silly stuff to make each other laugh is that a memory that you have um yeah the reading is not a uh, gender or relationship specific so this can be anyone i'm just telling you what i'm feeling here but there is something about um being very playful like childish playful silly and um fun so they might want to talk to you in this reading about a fun memory where you laughed a lot where you maybe you burst out laughing you had a laughing fit or something um i see someone here like crying tears laughing i love that but like it happens to me sometimes i'm infamous for my uh, fits of um laughter so maybe that's definitely a thing between you and your person here. So let's get started. And I just moved this so hopefully you can still see everything. Yep, you can. All right, so let's get going. Yeah, I feel like they want to talk to you about a memory. Sorry, I'm getting another psychic download. Yeah, but this will take too long, loved ones. Just use the cards. They want to talk to you about a memory here, or memories probably. And if you remember them, don't be sad that this is gone because just be grateful that you uh, experienced it 
and kind of laugh and know that your loved ones in spirit are laughing with you. If like right now, I'm encouraging you guys to think of the funniest memory that you had with your loved ones and maybe comment them down below. It might help someone else reading it. Let me know, you know, just bring back happy memories. Don't just dwell on the passing. Bring back some happy memories and share them with the Purple Heart fam. Loved ones. Yeah, there is, I see tickling. Okay. Yeah. Look, your loved ones are saying, why are you so miffed? There is a dolphin here in the background juggling this cup on his nose. And this is you. You're like, I'm too sad, I'm too broken, I'm too shattered, I'm in so much darkness. And you have every right to go through that. But guys, you need to also work on, um, on healing and on allowing. That's why I said to you, allowing positive energies to find you. Because if you're like that, that's a warning from spirit as well. You miss out on the good vibrational energies that try to find you. They are there. But you need to actively decide to turn around and also make that part of your life. And your loved ones are saying, hey, I'm here trying to send you signs, trying to make you reminisce on the good times, but I can't reach you because you are so focused on the loss, guys. So please take a deep breath and just know that death is not the end. And please turn around and look at what your loved ones want to do here for you. They are your dolphins trying to make you laugh. Oh my God, the moon. Okay, so look, this is another message here that you never walk alone. So they want to comfort you here and saying, hey, I have not abandoned you. you. You are physically alone, but I'm right beside you. You never, ever, ever walk alone. Death is not the end. You guys, watch my educational videos. I will link them in the description box down below. They're shorts, only one minute each lesson. Watch them all and it will help you feel so much more positive about everything that happened to you, okay? So you never walk alone and saying, hey, I'm with you. But again, can you see me? Are you even trying? Are you even embracing my new form or are you holding on to something that is dead, which is my body? You need to embrace me. Guys, and I'm, I'm, I'm being serious, I wanted this topic to be uplifting and happy. So please try that for me now. And if you feel like you can't do it, then tune out now for those of you who are too broken. Watch any of my other readings. I want to give the people who want a fun reading a good experience. So I'm going to do a cleansing here because this is too sad. Please allow spirits bring through the positive news we're done talking about heartbreak. I really wanted to have a happy message here for once, okay? Because I do sad stuff all the time. I want something uplifting because laughter is healing, okay? So loved ones, you can now talk about the happy memory. The devil... Okay, so the devil um, doesn't always have to be toxic. The devil is about um, extremes, okay? And here we have the, um, the rabbit, but that's not the white rabbit, but the mad hatter and the rabbit sitting here and having a feast. So you could have a fun memory where you just overindulged. Maybe you and your loved one, you would like to eat lots of chocolate together or like binge together um, on stuff that you love. Um, maybe you or maybe drink together. Uh, you just there is one memory where you came together and you kind of overdid it. And maybe you had um, a tummy ache on the next day or something. This could have been a party. A party where maybe something um, happened and it gave you lots to gossip about. Maybe you witnessed something extreme on a party and you kind of gossiped about it later on. Um, or maybe you accidentally 
broke something on a party and uh, you wanted to like hide that and it's your little insider secret so maybe you two would giggle a lot about insider jokes you had kind of uh, making fun of other people which is not very nice but we kind of all do it to some extent so this is about um something where you kind of overdid it but it was good fun, maybe a little bit too much fun. Uh, for those of you um, who are asking about a significant other, this could also be related to the bedroom. That's what I'm gonna say. The hanged man. <laughs> okay, this again is the court jester energy. This is someone doing a headstand here, just fooling around, fooling around. Being stuck. I need a confirmer for that because again, this is talking about, okay, someone here has a memory with their loved ones when they were around the age of seven well, I'm a, or 12, seven or 12. Doing headstands maybe or putting their head in the sand, literally just being a fool or something, flipping it upside down and you guys laughing and having a really good time. I need a clarifier for that loved one. What do you mean here? Loved ones, I meant. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. All right, so this is talking, definitely talking about being a little bit immature. And there is nothing wrong with being immature every now and then, especially not if it makes you, you know, laugh and giggle. If you're an adult and you're asking about someone who um, died when they were grown up, um, you two were able to let your inner child out. And sometimes it would get a little extreme, but they remember the good times where you just let go of your emotions completely. You just allowed for the two of you to be like wild and free, screwing societal standards and, you know, ideas. What should a lady behave like? What should an adult behave like? You know, you just had so much fun. And there is something which is not that funny, but it might, you know, give you like um, a fuzzy kind of um, nostalgic feeling. For some of you only, uh, your person could have had a drinking problem or an addiction problem and you would do that together. And obviously it's very bad for the body, but um, when you and or your person consumed these substances, you were able to just let go and let loose and you let your inner children come out and um, you had lots of fun there and it kind of escalated a little bit. So this could be, you know, bedroom related or... Um, consumption related or just acting like absolute clowns all right um but they remember that and maybe you you got really drunk at some point and you were stumbling around and you had um you just peed yourself laughing or you accidentally broke something or if it is not about consuming um you just you know how you get a high when you um you just laugh for a long time and your um, brain releases endorphins and it gets crazier and crazier and it kind of gets out of control. They remember that and they ask for you to remember that and please hopefully um, have a little smile on your face. Now, please put a smile on my face by liking this video and uh, leaving a comment if you don't know what to say. Drop a purple heart, subscribe if you knew I want to stay and turn on the little bell so that you won't ever miss out at any content. Our loved ones, what more happy uplifting stuff do you have to offer? Hang on, it's a bit weird to, um... okay now. Maturity in the reverse, guys. I say something, later on I pick a card, you know, that confirms it all. They love how immature you were with each other. And there is there is definitely something about you guys making fun of an elderly person, um, not in a mean way, but maybe teachers or um, your parents or something. You are just goofing around and you are acting so immature and they love it. So please remember that and please do that in their honor. Don't be this broken, sad person. Don't stop having fun. Be silly. Be shamelessly silly. Be shamelessly silly. 
connection because that's how you connect you guys and there is the glasses again i really feel that some of you guys you got drunk together or maybe your loved ones reminisce on the times where you would go out every weekend or so that's how you connect and they're saying hey i love you so much and i love to see you laugh and please remember the fun times we had also remember the romantic uh, stuff we did Again, stuff in the bedroom here for the romantics among you, but for everyone here, the fun stuff, maybe singing together and just having also awesome vacation, holiday memories when you travel together. Remember that. Remember that. Those awesome memories. No one can take that from you guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, the intimacy. I can't talk about this on my channel, um, but the romantics here think about the intimacy and again don't be sad that you lost it be happy that you had it and know that death is not the end you will at some point reunite in the next lifetime okay and have bodies again in the same realm and uh, have fun with your bodies um death is definitely not the end here's the 18 number and all of you guys you will miss physical closeness with your person um so remember that you once had it and that it was good and um you know know that you will absolutely have it again because death is not the end absolutely not love look god your some of your loved ones are quite dirty here um but this is not a strictly romantic uh reading and it's certainly not explicit but again um, those of you who know, you will know. But the ones who are not romantic, look, they just love you. Please remember the love. And did someone here, I can say this, pinch the other one's butt or something? Or did someone here kick the other one in the butt, jokingly? There's a lot about also, you know, tickling or um, pushing each other or just, you know, making each other laugh kind of physically. Those memories are coming through. So remember them and please have a laugh now. Think of the most ridiculous thing you did and laugh about it. Let's get some final messages here. By the way, if you'd like to send in some crystals or cards like many lovely people have, there's an Amazon wish list link down below. Forgive me, please. So they are sorry that um, they did what they did to you and that they abandoned you. And I feel like um, you waiting for closure that you will never have is ruining your fun. So please um, forgive them if you have it in your heart. Okay, what's this? I want to reach you through signs. I told you, look at this dolphin here. They want to reach you, but they can't because you are either angry at them because you can't forgive them or because you're too broken. So you need to work on healing and on forgiveness. If you do that, you will get so many amazing signs, you guys. I promise you that. I visit you in your dreams. So you might have many dreams about your loved ones. To know that um, probably many of them are genuine dream visitations. And also, guys, remember the dreams you had together and um, try to fulfill them on your loved one's behalf. They would love that. And that will raise your vibration, hopefully. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please leave me a thumbs up if that's the case. Take super good care and until very soon, hopefully. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number three, everyone who resonated with the Tower of the Owls and this lovely seven chakra star crystal. So you will be receiving a happy and fun and uplifting message from your diseased loved ones. Please allow that. Open up your heart to these high vibrational energies so that they can really find you. If you hear something that doesn't feel right for you, then it won't be, you know. Just feel peaceful about it. It might be a message for someone else. Only take what resonates and feels right for you. And as I'm saying this, I see um, some lights dancing on my wall. I have some new... Um, window crystals some snowflakes and they are kind of tinted um acrylic glass and this looks so amazing i wish i could show you so we have dancing rainbow lights 
that looks so gorgeous oh my god so and the sun is coming out you can see one rainbow reflection here guys that is such an amazing powerful signs for you you have the rainbow kind of deck here rainbow crystal rainbow reflections and i was feeling such a pure and healing high vibrational almost angelic energy from your loved ones so they want to heal you they are sending you healing lights and please it will only work if you allow that if you are um too stubborn in in your grief then it won't help but i see lights dancing here oh my god this is like an angel disco that i'm having here an angel disco okay so they want to heal you they're coming through and are saying i'm sending you rainbow lights dancing rainbow lights i just have to show you now guys i got these window crystals they are so gorgeous and this is on my window here right next to me and they throw the most amazing angel disco party lights on the wall so i love that so much i just needed to show you maybe get some crystals like that spice up your life allow more light and color in oh my god there's like a, this is a disco i'm loving this so yeah let's just allow for your loved ones to speak to you oh i love that and this makes me so incredibly happy loved ones yep the queen of cups in the reverse so that is you you can be a man watching this you just have these female energies here that are not balanced out you have been feeling very overly emotional and um kind of maybe bipolar, maybe, you know, you've been really, really struggling emotionally. Um, and the loved ones are saying, hey, cheer up, cheer up, have a dance party with me. And look, this owl has a starfish necklace, stars. So they want to comfort you with this angel disco vibe here. We should all have a disco party for sorts. This owl to me, I know he's supposed to be asleep, but he's grinning. He makes this face that my little cat makes when he's chilling. He just has this content, zen smile. And this owl is to me smiling. And um, owls might be a message for you, okay? Your loved one might be your owl. They're just coming through and saying, hey, chill. Whenever you feel overwhelmed and you feel like your emotions are going to get the better of you, just chill sit down have some alone time when no one can disturb you and please channel me visualize me right in front of you visualize me right in front of you whenever you feel overwhelmed be like this owl sit down somewhere alone close your eyes and channel me and then what are they gonna do the loved ones what are you gonna do in that case that's too much Loved ones, that was too much. Why are you going to do loved ones? Okay. The nine of pentacles in the reverse. I need a clarifier for that. Because I was almost inviting you to now close your eyes and visualize your loved ones and channel them. I feel like, um, yeah, I'm getting it now. So they want to cross the boundaries between the spirit realms and the material, physical, earthly realms. And when you close your eyes, I get it now. When you close your eyes and you meditate, you visualize them, just visualize them right in front of you. Picture them the way they look, the way they smell. Picture the both of you smiling and then you will feel that touch. They will try to touch you and that touch will be like a healing touch sending you these healing vibes so they want to touch you but they can only touch you when you close your eyes and meditate so oh. wow look how that's spinning spinning they want to have this angel disco party here eight of wands guys they come flying from heaven they are on a mission they look so fierce and determined like on a mission to send you energies guys they want to heal you that's what i'm saying they want to heal your body mind and soul 
obviously guys if there's something wrong with you seek a health professional i am not one i am just a medium translating messages from the spirits but your loved ones when you meditate when you do this when you are in this state they come through not just to touch you but to hit you with these angel vibes and they are so fierce. Look at him. He's so fierce. They're on such a mission now. Yeah? So, um, also, this does look like disco lights to me. This is a night sky here, but it's purple. Purple heart family. And it's sparkly. So, if you want to enhance this uh, magical um, healing vibe here that your loved ones are trying to send you, get more lights. Get some fairy lights. Get some candles. Whatever source of light that you prefer. Get some window crystals or put up some decorations that just um, raise the energy in the room. They will use that also as energy um, to manifest whatever blessing they want to give you. King of Pentacles. Yes, you are the queen. They are the king. Now, the genders can be reversed on the same uh, page. But here, the energies that you have are more female in... Um, an imbalanced way and their energies are more male so stability and comfort and um, providing energies to you they want to provide blessings to you um, they really do they want to help you touch you and heal you and they want to let you know hey i'm there with you you are never alone i'm always watching over you they feel very fatherly um, in a sense that they want to protect you okay and provide for you and watch over you they can be a different relationship um okay that they have with you but they feel like a father protective father can be a romantic partner or female friend sibling whatever it's just their energies and also you have these purple grapes I got such a vicious and nasty rude comment from someone who said, how do I, Nia, dare to say that their loved ones speak through me? That's so manipulative. Well, isn't that the kind of the point of my, my whole channel, you guys, that loved ones speak through me? I'm just the translator. And I'm not saying this to toot my own horn. I'm just reading the energies. The fact that you have purple grapes here means that your loved ones obviously vibe with my whole purple channel theme. And if the messages resonate, that is confirmation. So if you're wondering, you know, do they feel comfortable talking to you? Yes, they do. Purple. My Purple Heart family, I have so many extremely loving and amazing subscribers and I love you guys so much. You make up for all the nasties. So please drop some Purple Hearts in the comments and definitely give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and want to stay and turn on the little bell symbol so that you will never miss out on any content here. Because some people, they miss out on my videos and they ask me, how do I always miss out on your videos? You can change that if you turn on the bell. Okay, more messages, please, loved ones. Between worlds, guys, I had a bit of a hard time with this card. And, you know, I always let my psychic intuition guide me and I did not give a... Um, traditional interpretation of their cards but here they are confirming i saw that as them crossing the boundary between the spirit and the earthly realms they literally step from one realm to another just for you just because they love you so much and look here's confetti and like a party theme there is a bird and there is the sparkles they come through to help you and you can attract them when you do something high vibrational, like listening to high vibrational music, decorating with candles and crystals and stuff or flowers, whatever fits your vibe, that's how you attract them because then they can use that energy from those objects to manifest something for you, okay? Also, I'm getting that you are related biologically for some of you or that there is a child involved, a child. It's very specific for some of you. 
come to the edge. This person here, they want to meet you at the edge of the two worlds. They're saying, hey, I want to meet. And when you meditate or when you sleep, okay, they visit you in your sleep for sure. So work on remembering your dreams. We all dream several times at night. We just forget. They want to meet you at the at the uh, frontier, at the um, the border. So like, don't be shy. Come see them there and pick up all these lovely hearts here that they are leaving you. Almost said flower petals. So they want to dance with you. She looks like a disco angel. So have a little dance party and visualize your loved ones dancing with you. It is going to work. Time to go. And this is not time to say goodbye at all. This is, again, this angelic being. She looks like a fairy. Again, crossing the bridge. There is a portal. It's a gate. The gate is open. Your loved ones have divine permission to come visit you, to touch you, to materialize, to heal you. They could be on a very divine mission to actually yeah, help you on your healing journey or maybe others in a similar situation. So they are given divine permission to travel across the rainbow bridge and here we have the stars stars on that wooden bridge lovely lovely images oh, i don't feel confident about that card I need to give it a shuffle new life and she is purple that fairy is purple and you have so much nine here okay um three times three is nine three plus six is nine four plus five is nine and here you have this nine and a three so there is something about the angel number nine and that means being very close to completion um new life so there's a particular message you might have a child or there might be a child in your family or close circle who will be your person reincarnated. Watch my reading whether your loved ones will reincarnate back into your life. That's a huge possibility. So there's something about new life. New life and this fairy coming out of the eggshell. So they might reincarnate and find you in this lifetime. If not, you will for sure have a new lifetime together. But there is something about right now while you are still here something new will be born this could just be you having um you know going through a transformation and they're helping you with that or a new life coming into your life which will be them reincarnated because look they're flying down here that's for a big part of you and their reincarnation or they will send you a specific soul to help you but know that they are so connected with you and that you're never alone and they want to have this angel disco party with you. Now, let's get some more cards. Final messages. And if you two would like to send in some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon wishlist link down below. I forgive you. So in case there is an issue around forgiveness between the two of you, know that you are forgiven, whatever this is about. And also, if you feel like you could forgive something that they did to you, please forgive them. Forgiveness sets you free. So forgiveness. I'm so upset. This is probably you being so upset, which I told you with the Queen of Cups. So they come through to um, comfort you. And if you feel ashamed for kind of failing or being too broken, they forgive you. They understand. They're with you. Okay. Don't be so upset. Cheer up. Have this angel party and prepare for this new life, for this rebirth that either you and or your loved one will have. God, this is just too many. Feeling a little blockage now. Loved ones, one final message here. Just one. Yeah, there you go. I'm in a much better place. So don't be upset, worrying about them. They are in a much better place and they want to make sure that you reach this better place in this lifetime to sending you their angel frequencies, all right? So this is all I have for you. I really hope you liked it. Leave me a thumbs up if that's the case. Take super good care until very soon, hopefully. Bye.